Hi there. So there was a question, I think, in Facebook the other day about the After Hours plugin not working in 7.1. Um, we're pretty sure it does work. And uh, I'm going to show you the steps that we took to get it to work here. Maybe it'll help you out. So under Content Setup, Plugin Manager, After Hours plugin, I'm going to install it. Done. Now it's going to... All right, so it's it's probably done quickly because it was previously installed. I apologize. Um, it actually takes a moment or two, probably closer to a minute, and it shows you that it's uh, installed. Um, I guess the, going through the second time, it doesn't do it. Uh, so you click on After Hours Music, and here's where you set it up. The trick has been finding the right uh, internet streams, music streams, to get to work for it to work. They give you a suggested one here. And I'm guessing things have changed recently. Um, here's the site here. But you'll find th that these Christmas radio stations, not all of them have links. Notice how this has got a link. This doesn't. This doesn't. This doesn't. This. And that did, I guess. Maybe it does. But what you want is the PLS file. Not only do you want the PLS file, it has to be a certain type of PLS file. So I'm going to, I'm going to right click on here and I'm going to copy the link address. I'm going to paste it in Notepad. What we want is just this portion, including the port number. So I'm going to Control C, copy that, bring it back here, and I'm going to put that in there. Stream 1, for example. Save it. Uh, it didn't like that, so let's try. Oh, it didn't save my... Put the thing in there. Let's try again. I think the trick is I have to hit tab or enter. Maybe that was the trick here. Stream one, save it. There you go. It says it's pingable, so that usually means it's good. Let's test it by clicking the run start script. Nope, it doesn't like that one. Let's see. Uh, save. Maybe yeah, I didn't save. Try that. Run start script. Nope, doesn't like that. Let's try another one. It's a little bit of trial and error here. Click on this. Copy link address. Come down here. Let's try this one. Control C. Down here. Tab. Stream 2. Save it. Oh, maybe I didn't have active. That would be dumb. Well, let me try that. Run this one. Oh, that one looks like it's working. Playing. And it's definitely moving ahead, so that's good. That looks like it's playing. So let me stop that. I'm going to reactivate this other one because maybe I just forgot to hit the actives. I'm going to save it just for the sake of saving. Oh, that's all it must have been. I must have just forgot to mark the active. So it's definitely playing. It tells you the song and everything. So that's it. It works. Now I want to show you some of these other ones that don't have a name. And I just, if I say copy the link address, put it in here. This one should work. It's got a, what I'm getting at is you really want to make sure it has a port number defined. Um, it seems like the ones that are not working do not have a port number defined. So copy link address. You see this one here. Yep, that one looks good too. So you want to be sure and get the host name and a, and a port number. I'm finding that if you see something like HTTPS and then something.com, those are not, they don't appear to be working anymore. Like the, this, these are all HTTP. Maybe they're being blocked, but what you critically want to find is make sure it's got a port number assigned to it. Um, so that works. I'm going to hit the stop script. Normally what you do now is you go to your um, playlist manager. And you would go and create, say, your main show here. Your test show in this case. You would add a sequence or entry. And normally you would um, change, uh, you want a script. So prior to your show starting, you would want to stop the after hours. Make sure that it's not playing. 
move that up to the lead in so it'll play this script they suggest adding a pause as well just to make sure that it has enough time to stop playing the internet radio so you give it say a two second pause right there drag that up there come on drag it down it would be in temperamental there you go so it's going to stop the music from playing and then pause for two seconds and then maybe when your show is done you want to do a script and we're going to start the the uh, music playing so we're going to add it drag it down so this is one way to do it where you stop the after hours you give it a couple seconds so it's definitely not playing then it goes and does your show and then it light starts up again another option might be just to create a whole new playlist i'm going to save that go back maybe create a new playlist call it uh, after hours and say add the playlist and in this case maybe we're just going to um, start the start it up add it what you might do is put that in the lead in and maybe you've got just a and I don't know if I have one here but maybe just a sequence only maybe you're gonna play something that uh, uh, that's just uh, your house outlines or something for a couple hours uh, you can have that going and then at the end shut it off so there's lots of different options there and we'd say script and after hours shut it down that's it so start play some out house outlines or whatever and then stop it so maybe this is a something you'd play before your show um, is running for the christmas season or the halloween season but uh just to go back here to the after hours music the key is you want to um Go through those lists and get the IP address. All this information about pulling out the URL is found in the, if we go to the advanced page, it takes you to the GitHub. And this is kind of cryptic. I don't think you even need to go here. But if you go to the GitHub page, um, I'm not sure it's even listed here. Let me just see if I can find it. If I type in uh, FPP GitHub uh, right here, and the it, it gives you um it gives you a breakdown on what i was talking about finding the url of your internet station so again it, it says the script looks like this you just want the host name and the port name just like i showed you here in notepad you just want to pull out pull up the ip and the port that's all you want you don't want any of this other stuff that's in there anyway uh that's about it i'm just going to grab this url that's off screen paste it here so you know where the github is there's the github address that it's pointing to here that's it hope that helps you out bye now